Finn was one of a kind. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Finn Hudson moments on Glee. This ain't a song for the broken hearted. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite Finn Hudson moments throughout his four seasons on the show. These moments can be scenes with other characters or songs that he performed. Open your heart to me, baby. I'll hold the lock and you hold the key. Number 10, Hyper Finn. Has your soul been taken over by caffeinated space aliens? Nope, just visited the school. Nurse got this great vitamin. I feel fantastic. I can't wait to do the number. Let's do the number and then afterwards we can build a house for Habitat for Humanity. Isn't it nice to see the boys so happy? In the episode Vitamin D, Finn is given pseudoephedrine tablets by Terry and shares them with the rest of the Glee Club. This results in a highly energetic mashup of It's My Life and Confessions Part 2, which is easily one of the most memorable performances of the entire show. It's my life, it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. We know something's going down when Finn enters the room with a massive smile on his face, and the show doesn't disappoint us. Hey guys, how's it going? God, it's a beautiful day. Let's run through the number. I can't wait to do the number. I'm ready and excited. Their performance is hilarious and full of energy. And it reminds us of the rather lighthearted nature of the first season before things took a turn for the melodramatic. Jesse is a friend. Number nine, Jesse's girl. No, he's been a good friend of mine. But lately something's changed that ain't hard to define Jesse's got himself a girl and I want to make her mine Turns out that Finn Hudson and Rick Springfield go together like peanut butter and jam. Finn sings this song as a way to express his jealousy after Rachel is whisked away by Jesse St. James. It's a very fitting song for the storyline, and Corey Monteith sings the hell out of it as he expresses his energy and passion in every word. Where can I find a woman like that, like Jesse? I wish that I had Jesse's girl. We love it when a song expertly complements the story, and Jesse's girl is a perfect example of how it can be done. <laughs> Number eight, Finn lets Rachel go to New York. You're gonna get on that train, okay? And you're gonna go to New York, and you're gonna be a star without me. That's how much I love you. In the third season finale, Rachel is accepted to Niada, while Kurt and Finn are rejected from their respective colleges. Not willing to leave her friends, Rachel decides to stay behind, but Finn isn't having it. He cancels their wedding and drives her to the train station so that Rachel can go to New York and follow her dream of becoming a Broadway star. You're on the 425 to New York. Your dads are gonna meet you there and they're gonna, they're gonna help you look at dorms at the new school. It's an extremely powerful scene, thanks to Corey and Leah's incredible performances, and it definitely has the potential to make you cry, especially when you look past the characters and think of it as Corey talking to Leah. Goodbyes are always hard, and this one is damn near impossible. We're just gonna, we're gonna sit here and we're just gonna let go. Okay, and, and let the universe <laughs> do its thing, and if we're meant to be together, then we're gonna be together. Number seven, Faithfully. We hate goodbyes, but we love hellos. Well, in this case, it's not so much hello as it is I love you, but it still counts. In the final episode of the first season, Finn finally professes his love for Rachel before they go on stage to perform Journeys Faithfully. Break a leg. I love you. As with their goodbye, this duet has the power to make you cry, but this time through beauty and love rather than sadness. Their chemistry is palpable in this scene, and the sparks fly throughout the number's two minute runtime. It's a gorgeous performance of a beautiful song, and it sent the first season off on a soaring high. I'm still yours, faithfully. Number six, Finn defends Kurt from the bullies. You're not hitting anyone. Finn dressed as Lady Gaga? It's perfection. In this scene, Kurt is being bullied by Karofsky and Azimio for his rather extravagant and flamboyant Lady Gaga costume. 
things look dour before Finn shows up, wearing his own ridiculous Gaga-inspired costume, made from a shower curtain. It's certainly a hilarious scene due to Finn's ludicrous appearance, but it's also one of the defining moments of his character arc. I want to thank you, Kurt. I realize I still have a lot to learn, but the reason I'm here right now, in a shower curtain, is because of you. He finally embraces his inner freak and stands up to those he once stood beside. It shows enormous growth in Finn's character and solidifies him as a fan favorite, if he wasn't already. <laughs> well, look at us, we are freaks. <laughs> <laughs> but we're all freaks together. And we shouldn't have to hide it. Number five, I'll stand by you. Oh, why you look so sad? Tears are in your eyes. Finn is undoubtedly a good guy, and his performance of I'll Stand By You proves it. In the episode Ballad, Kurt convinces Finn to sing a ballad to his unborn daughter, or at least who he thinks is his unborn daughter. Finn then sings to a sonogram, proving his love for the child and his devotion as a father. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. The song is undeniably touching, as it shows Finn's heart and dedication, but it's also tinged with sadness due to the knowledge that Finn is not the father. It perfectly showcases the show's ability to both melt and break your heart. Won't let nobody hurt you. I'll stand by you. Finn, what's going on? Number four, Finn is caught singing in the shower. I'm getting closer than I ever thought I might. And here is where it all began. The first impression we get of Finn is not a good one, as he casually allows bullies to throw Kurt into a dumpster. Granted, he holds Kurt's jacket for him, but he's still a bully. This all changes when Will catches Finn singing in the shower and subsequently blackmails him into joining the Glee Club. That's gonna remain on your permanent record. What's the other option, Mr. Shu? I got chills, they're multiplying. We simply must include this scene, as it's the moment that starts Finn's trajectory towards becoming a good and wholesome man, rather than the brainless jock that others perceive him to be. Welcome to Glee, Finn. You don't have to fight this feeling anymore. If I have to crawl up on your floor, Come crashing through your door. Baby, I can't fight this feeling anymore. Number three, Finn proposes to Rachel. I have something to talk to you about, but I want you to promise me that you won't say a word until I'm done. Aw, don't you just love them? After two seasons worth of will they or won't they drama, Finn finally proposes to Rachel in the third season episode, Yes, No. It's a monumental moment for Finn and Rachel's relationship, as, you know, most proposals should be. And like Finn singing to his unborn daughter, it shows his enormous heart and sense of devotion to those he loves. Rachel Berry, will you marry me? The speech he gives to Rachel is also fantastic, and our hearts can't help but melt alongside Rachel's. It's a defining moment for both Finn and the show, and it proves that Finn is arguably Glee's most humane and adorable character. You're like a, a beacon of light guiding me through the darkness. You're like this, this big gold star, and for some bizarre reason, you chose to let me love you. Number two, Finn sings Don't Stop Believin' with the club. I'm just a small town girl, living in a lonely world. At the end of the first episode, the club gets together to sing the Journey classic for the first time, while Finn takes the lead with Rachel. There's just so much good about this scene, we don't even know where to start. It perfectly sets up their future relationship by showing their chemistry both as characters and as vocalists. It also showcases Finn's character development throughout the first episode alone, as he's now refusing to take part in the bullying and embracing his inner performer. Finally, the song was such a success that it would go on to become the show's anthem. There's so much to love here, it's not even funny. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I've got the power. I've got the power. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do. Hey, baby, I think I want to marry you.
Number one, just the way you are. Oh, her eyes, her eyes make the stars look like they're not shining. Her hair, her hair falls perfectly without her trying. There is arguably no better song to showcase Finn's giant heart and character development than his performance of Bruno Mars's Just the Way You Are. The episode is called Furt for a reason. Finn sings about love and acceptance and finally embraces Kurt as his brother, while promising to be there for him every step of the way. From now on, no matter what it costs me, I got your back. It's a beautifully touching moment from both a song and character perspective, as it highlights Finn's maturity and shedding of his past self. We would give anything to have Finn as a brother. agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.